Do you have lower back arthritis and you're looking for a safe exercise routine? Keep watching and I will show you how to warm up your joints, improve your mobility and increase your strength so you have less pain and more mobility in your lower back. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva Venes of painfreeforlifepilates.com located in San Diego, California. Here on my channel, I share weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility. In this video, I'm going to take you through a number of exercises that I, will, I always use with my clients who have lower back arthritis. They usually come in feeling miserable and also hopeless, thinking that they can't get better. A lot of them receive epidurals or uh, they are on, on um, prescription medication for the pain, but I can guarantee that with some um, stretching, some mobilization, with some strengthening, you can to feel better. So let's get started. Um, first, we are going to massage the muscles a little bit in the lower back and in the hips. So the way we do this is you're going to bring the foam roller to the right side of your back. Put your arm behind you to support yourself and raise your hips a little bit. So just nice and easy, very gently, not putting pressure in on the lumbar vertebrae. You're just going to roll over that strip of muscle that houses your kidney or your kidney area so no pressure on the lumbar vertebrae we are just massaging the muscle right next to the lumbar spine and then let's go over to the other side so you can see that i'm tilting my lower body a little just enough that i'm on the left side of my lower back i'm not on my side body okay so be sure not to turn too much and let's just do this a couple more times. It feels really good to get a massage in the lower back. Also, this way you can give yourself a self-massage without always having to go and get a massage from a professional. Um, next, you're going to sit on the foam roller. Your hip muscles need that massage as well. So you're just going to roll out that right hip if you can see, I tilted my knees to the side, so I'm sitting on my right back cheek and I'm just rolling my glute muscles and then cross your right foot over your left knee and continue rolling. I do this for about a minute on each side at home. Um, the reason why you want to roll out your hip muscles as well, besides the lower back, is because the hip muscles originate on your lower back and they interlace with your lower back muscles. So if you have lower back pain, lower back arthritis, it's very important to address your hips as well. Okay, now we are rolling the other side. I'm going to cross my left ankle, left foot over my right knee. And let's just finish this with a couple more of these rolls. This feels wonderful and it immediately increases your mobility in your hips and in your lower back. And then let's take advantage of that increased mobility now. Your hips and your spine is, are going to be more uh, willing to move. So we're going to start out on our hands and our knees. Now tuck your pelvis under and just try and run your lower back. And look down toward your belly button. And then let's reverse this. So you're going to elongate your spine and draw your shoulders down, find a nice stretch, nice length in your spine. And then let's tuck under the pelvis again, feel your vertebrae moving in your lower back and then ease back into extension. No need to take it to the extremes, guys. So as you can tell, I'm not tilting back my head when I go into extension. I'm moving my neck, but I'm not arching my lower back super um, deep. So I'm just focus more on mobilizing the hips, the lumbar spine and the thoracic spine, but don't take it to the extremes. 
Okay, next let's do an abdominal activation. So we're just gonna stay in this quadruped position. Feel that your lumbar spine is straight and it has just a little bit of a divot in the lower back, meaning that you're not sagging your lower back. So just lift your stomach a little bit. A slight curve in the lower back is good, too much curve is not good. Now try and relax your abdominal muscles without changing the shape of your lower back. So when you relax your abdominal muscles, you don't want the lower back to sag. Okay, just practice relaxing the abdomen without changing the shape of the spine. And then once you relax, tighten those muscles. Relax those muscles, tighten those muscles. Relax the abdomen, tighten the abdomen. So what I'm doing here is I'm softening my abdomen without dropping my back and then I'm tightening my abdomen without changing the shape of my back. Let's do this one more time. Take a nice deep inhale as you relax your abdomen and then exhale as you tighten your abdomen. Okay. Now that you learned how to stabilize your lower back and how to engage your core, let's take advantage of that. We're gonna take it to the next level. So engage your core just like you did earlier, no change in the lumbar spine. You're going to straighten out your right leg, leave your toes on the mat. Then straighten out your left arm, leaving your fingertips on the mat. So this is just the basic uh, starting out to strengthening the lower back, strengthening the hips. We're just going to do this slides back and forth, leg and arm. If you feel strong and stable, you're going to add a leg lift and an arm lift. Now be sure not to drop your lower back, okay? We don't want that. Keep your abdomen engaged. You can put your hand and knee down. Let's repeat it on the other side. Slide back your left leg, toes are still on the mat. Slide forward your right hand, fingertips are still on the mat. If you feel strong and stable, raise your left leg, raise your right arm, and then put them down. Let's repeat it again. Right knee, left hand, Mm, then raise them up and down. Make sure that core is engaged, guys, as you do this. Left leg, right arm, and lift. Okay, uh, really good. And then let's do another exercise to strengthen your core a little bit so your lower back is more stable, more supported. You're going to lay down on your back, your legs will be bent, feet on the table, feet on the uh, yoga mat, head is supported by the hand. You're going to take a nice deep inhale here, and on your exhale, lift your shoulders and your head up from your mat. So I'm not pulling on my head, I'm not pressing my head forward, I'm keeping my chin drawn in, and I'm just lifting my upper back without straining my neck. Let's practice that. Go back down, take an inhale. On your exhale, lift your head and chest. Look straight between your knees. Try and pull in your belly button. Smooth down your floating ribs. Hold it for a two count. And you can go back down. Let's do it again, guys. Take an inhale. On your exhale, lift your head and chest. Mm, draw in the chin. Pull in your navel, flatten your stomach, and you can go back down. Let's do two more of this. Take an inhale, exhale as you lift. Feel that your shoulder blades are almost completely off of your yoga mat. Pull in your belly button, flatten your stomach, and back down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lift the head and the chest, look straight either between your knees or just right above your knees, drawing the chin and back down. Okay, so these exercises are a combination of 
mobilizing, stretching, strengthening, corrective, healing exercises, which I hope that you really enjoyed and you're already feeling um, improved mobility in your lower back and also a little bit less pain in that area. Um, if you're excited and hopeful that there is hope for you out there and you can feel better too, visit my website, click on the shop tab and check out my on-demand home programs. Um, I have a lower back protocol that would be wonderful for you. It's a six to eight week program that will walk you through the steps of how to eliminate the stiffness, the pain, the tightness in your lower back. Uh, it will help you increase your core and hip strength and uh, overall uh, these exercises will make you feel so much better. Um, if you would like to work with me one on one, either in person or online, also go to my website and schedule a 15 minute phone consultation so we can get things started. Uh, be sure to stay and watch the next video. And if you would like more guidance on how to eliminate chronic pain in your body without the use of uh, drugs and surgeries and how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility, check out my uh, YouTube uh, playlists on my channel.